Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a game review. So for today's uh, review, I wanted to sh share a game called Does Not Compute. What this game is all about is essentially uh, what I figure to be a mix between uh, Grand Theft Auto and The Sims. So you're basically controlling different vehicles one at a time, but um, in order to pass the level, you have to um, avoid the other cars that you yourself have controlled to get to their destination. Um, the app is available for Android and iOS and as far as the Android side goes it does connect with Google Play games so you can get leaderboards and achievements so when, so you get things for different to get for getting to different checkpoints um, for doing certain finishing certain goals they finding hidden um, areas uh, play f playing five cars without crashing flawless um, levels and things like that so um, pretty cool there to get uh, rankings. Um, you have a pretty good themed UI so you can touch the knobs for uh, controlling the, vol the, the level of volumes, um, the sound of the effects, uh, the graphics quality so you have low, medium, and high. Um, other than that, that's pretty much um, all there is for the game itself. Um, you do have video replay so you kind of get an overview of what the game is all about and what you've done previously. Um, the game itself is available for free on Android and iOS, um, but it does come with a caveat that if once you reach certain checkpoints on the free version, you cannot resume from the save from that checkpoint. So if you do want to do um, continue from where you left off, then you do need to um, buy the premium version. I think it was, or I can check right now. It is two dollars and ninety nine cents for the uh, premium version. Um, but it is by no means needed to enjoy the game. So, if, but if you do like it, it does help support the developer and help you resume from those checkpoints. So with that, I will jump right into the game itself so we can see exactly what it's all about. Um, based on each person, you get a different vehicle and you get a different objective. So in this case, a dentist wants to leave his house and head to his clinic. Um, it does give you an overview of where you need to go so you have a general idea of uh, what roads you need to follow. So once you touch it, you get the buttons to turn left and right, and you go start. You go basically just to finish that route, um, and then you once you finish that task, you get another task, and you get a different vehicle. So now we have Postwoman Betty. So you're gonna have a uh, mail truck. Um, the thing to note as well is that you are on a countdown timer. So once you run out of time, that means your um, game is over, and you have to start over. This is kind of where the checkpoints come into play a little bit more. So if you're on level two or three or four or whatever and you run out of time, you do have to start all the way back from level one if you have the free version. If you have the premium version, you can obviously start from your last save checkpoint. Um, there is or there are timer power ups. So as you can see on the screen, there's a 10 second power up and then on different areas, you might get 20 seconds or various other things. And as you accomplish various tasks, you, tasks, you get certain power-ups like turbo and traction control so I've been playing this game a little bit and you see that I have that as well so touching the screen I'll start this level and um, I'll use my truck to get myself to the end and you see that my first car uh, or for my first round of car um, passed me by so the um, objectives get um, harder and harder because I now have to avoid all my other cars as well and then the uh, length I have to travel also becomes longer and longer so now I have to get Mrs. Mayfield to work, so I need to um, have her navigate as well. Uh, the one thing you will notice, you get a little arrow tearing, telling you where to go, so you do know if you get a little bit off track uh, which direction you need to head. Um, and then as the levels get further and further, you do see that you get in different routes you need to take and different power-ups show up as well. So this next route is going to be a little bit shorter um, and you see that I can take a little bit of a shortcut get 10 extra seconds and finish the route so it's pretty straightforward um, same thing here this is in the opposite direction and it uh, messes with you a little bit um, because now it's in the flip version um, I got an extra 10 seconds there um, and now I have to um, navigate Ice Cream and Hernandez to the arrows but you see that one of my other cars is in my way so I'll have to be sure to avoid him, the postman, postwoman lady on the bottom right um, as well is going to be there so I have to avoid that as well. But I do have the opportunity to get 10 extra seconds. 
and then things like and then the physics of the game all as well are also pretty cool so running over bushes and grass slows you down if you hit buildings then your car is going to explode and obviously um slow down as well so things to, or those are things um that you do need to uh, keep in mind and pay attention to when you are especially low on time and you need to avoid cars and um, accomplish the various tasks so I'm going to keep playing to uh, get into the second level where as far as I've gotten so far so you can kind of see the complexity increase in the level as well um, when you get to different levels so in this case I'm going to keep going straight and as you can see um, I hit the bus because I that bus was um taking that route I wanted to go so now my car caught fire um, I did get 10 seconds but I do slow down um, so that's something to take into consideration when you are playing the game and as you can see um, I want to get this 10 seconds here I want to get navigate around that car and go as fast as possible so I did lose time on the last round so I want to make sure I play as perfectly as possible when I'm playing the current round um, so now I can see all the various other cars that are showing up and I want to get that 10 seconds So I'm gonna try and navigate uh, between the homes so I uh, avoid as many other uh, Other cars as well get 10 seconds and finish the level and as you can see there's also rain physics So that's actually a pretty cool thing as well. Just that attention to detail um, so um, Now we have the widow lady so um, in this case this part Part is really safe forward and I still managed to mess that up so now my car is going slower um, but because it was a short level it's not too much of a hit against my time but I'm gonna have to pay for that later um, and so now as you see this is getting to be at the end of this level so I, I'm gonna get an extra 60 seconds to finish this level so the main thing is I want to avoid all the other cars it looks like there's a road that goes through this um, barn so I'm gonna try and um, do that navigate there got 10 seconds 20 and then I'm gonna get this extra uh, minute there and I'm now done with the level um, but I'm gonna pay for this because now that my car is damaged it's gonna take me a lot longer to get through the level but I do see the 10 second power up and it looks like um, finishing the level the part of uh, perfect um, setting so I'm okay um, and then in this case we have Mr. Olsen who's driving a moped so there are also um, motorcycles in the uh, game so it is actually a pretty versatile set of cars to play with so overall a pretty fun game pretty nifty good navigation nothing too uh, strenuous but it is a matter of avoiding um, various obstacles and other cars and making sure that um, you finish the level with enough time to or finish each round to uh, complete make sure you complete the level and progress to the next level um, so this is actually about as far as I've gotten in the game um, I do run out of time when I am playing this uh, level because I do end up crashing uh, much like you see there um, so that's my biggest problem is not crashing on the second level and getting into the third level um, so open game I do recommend playing it um, as I mentioned it's available for Android and iOS for free in both app stores and a premium version for $2.99 to in order to resume the each uh, game that you play or each time that you play from your last saved checkpoint so if you have any questions comments concerns or want to see more or whatever else I can sh poke around in the game you can email me at headphones at yahoo.com and you can find me on Twitter at Patel N01 all or this screencast and review can and all prior ones can be found at youtube.com slash patel n01 and of course the podcast itself life of an accounting droid can be found at patel n01.com but that is all for this particular review thanks for watching and listening and until next time